Hey there folks, this is Brian coming to you. Got to make an update here. Uh, a viewer pointed out to me um, that I made a mistake when, uh, when I was talking about my suspension tuning uh, video. And so I'm going to make that correction uh, right here now in this video. I always want to be 100% accurate on everything I do. And that is why I'm making a very quick video to uh, retouch on this basis just to uh, you know, verify or clarify, clarify is the correct word, clarify what is the, uh, the correct uh, adjustment and where it is. Uh, but I just wanted to, uh, you know, go into detail and say that I, I never tried to present that I am uh, the, you know, the uh, most educated Suron person. Um, I just started doing this a month ago uh, with this Suron and that I am not the go-to guy that knows every possible thing about the whole, uh, you know, the whole bike. I don't. Um, I tend to be pretty uh, accurate on motocross bikes and, and information about that. So I was just taking my motocross information that I've had, you know, 30 years, 35, 40 years of experience with and, uh, and kind of importing it into this bike. But these are Chinese made forks, 99% uh, probably. Um, someone may argue and say, no, those are USA forks, but, uh, from the writing, uh, on the detailing about the instructions of these forks, it just le tends to lead me to believe that these are, uh, are Korean or Chinese, uh, made forks, even though with a fast taste name, but otherwise I'm just going to get to it. I have a PDF. Um, I, the viewer, uh, actually told me the name of these forks, which the name of these forks are not on the fast taste. Uh, website because uh, I went there and tried to find information uh, that specified uh, some of the settings and how to set these up and I found nothing on them but this viewer identified uh, the name of these actually the model name of these forks so I typed them in and through a little bit of research I, I was able to uh, find someone that linked to a PDF and the PDF did clarify that your rebound is up here on the top and your uh, compression is down here on the bottom. This is more of a low speed. It's an, it's, it is a low speed compression. There's not a high speed compression. High speed compression is a little more effective than low speed uh, compression, but most people don't want to even know about that because it gets really, really complicated. But um, this is a compression down here and your rebound is up top. I told the reverse in my video and now I'm making the correction. Um, I played around with these settings and they were really so non-instrumental i couldn't even really tell uh, what was changing with the forks uh, by by changing those but there are 12 degrees of clicks up here and 12 degrees of clicks with the compression down here that's interesting and that's good to know don't don't ever try to go too far when it stops and, and it gives you some resistance don't try to go over it don't try to go below it because you can damage the forks um, this bolt over here in the instructions, do not touch this bolt, this bolt right here. Do not touch that, do not loosen that, do not play with that. Uh, that has nothing to do with the compression or the rebound or the settings. As much as this, uh, on the, on the uh, left side of the fork, there's a, a bolt up here on the top or an Allen head bolt, don't touch that. That has to do with the assembly of the forks. Um, this is, there's a screw up here, a flathead screw and a flathead screw right here. And those are the ones that you adjust. There is, I found out in the PDF that this is an air adjustment, uh, little screw above at the top. If yours came with it situated pointing that way, um, that you can remove that. I think it said it was three millimeters. Um, remove that if it says after riding, you know, for an hour or something and it's warm outside and your uh, forks start to feel stiffer over time, they've built up your air pressure and you can relieve that air pressure by pulling, just taking that bolt out or loosening it. You'll get a piss of sound uh, and then screw that back in, put it snugly in and that releases some of the air pressure that, that's been built up. Uh, the process of, of the fork heating up uh, and then you should regain some of your plushness back uh, but yeah rebound compression uh, they recommend just to clarify because um, I know a little bit more than maybe some or want to know about suspension to put this in the middle position uh, um, no, no no put this in the top position it's in it's counterintuitive you want to go uh, clockwise all the way clockwise and then you want to start going uh, in reverse so you want to go counterclockwise and they recommend putting it in the sixth position from 
from full um, clockwise, you know, six back, and then off from off, you know full counterclockwise. So halfway, and then uh, ride and adjust from there, you know, plus or minus. And in the compression, um, you want to be full counterclockwise. I know this is complicated, but for the people that are watching the video that know more more about suspension, this can be helpful. Um, so a full counterclockwise or in the middle at, at six, and then you can go from there. I mean, I wouldn't start at, at 12 on the rebound because it's going to be a little extreme, but uh, maybe start, you know, around, I think my clickers were at uh, three from counterclockwise. It was one to clockwise. It was one, two, three. So this was on three. This was on like zero. Um, so hopefully that helps clarify rebounds up here, compressions down here in my video before I, I told you the opposite. So other than that, um, have a great day and hopefully this didn't confuse someone a whole lot and, uh, make anyone angry because that's the last thing I want to do. Okay. Bye-bye.